Imam Shabir, you know, interesting question is this, that if Muslims uh, claim that the uh, Bible was a revelation of God, uh, then the obvious question comes in, why did uh, God allow it to be changed? Uh, and why not the Quran? I mean, this question is often uh, we are hit, you know, uh, with uh, by the non-Muslims. Yes. How do you... Let's start with the Quran. Why not allow the Quran's message to be changed? The reason is that God revealed the Quran as the final revelation. That has to remain with human beings until the day of judgment. So we have to have that confidence. We're going here to this book and we're finding the word of God and nothing else. So the Quran has to be preserved. That's the logic behind this. Mm -hmm. Why not the previous books then? Well, in the case of the previous books, God was sending book after another. God was sending prophet after another. So that if the message of the previous prophet was changed over time, that was not so much of a great issue because another prophet came to restore the message and bring it back to its pristine purity. So whereas, for example, some previous messages were, were uh, confused by people, Jesus came and restored it and he preached again, this is the word of God for you. Uh, so after him, now, if the message becomes diluted again, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, comes and he restores the message and he puts it in this final form. Now it cannot be diluted because if it's diluted, people will be left without the guidance. Right. This is why God has an, uh, undertaken to preserve the Quran, though he hasn't done so with the previous books.